Hello and welcome to another Daiki. Today we're going to be testing the three independent uh, coffee companies. One of them is Marley, the other one is Skull Crusher, and the uh, last one will be Big Dicks. Today we're going to be joined by a special guest to help us taste each of the coffees. There's five coffees in total to taste, so please stay tuned. So now we're here for the tasting, we're joined by Eva, who has come along to taste with us. So we've got the five coffees all set up. All of them have been made the same, the same amount of coffee in each and the same amount of time to brew. So we will start with the first one from Marley, which is called Misty Morning. So this one was already a ground coffee. So we put it straight in and about this coffee, it says it's perfect for those looking for a rich, long lasting cup of coffee. So without any further ado, let's get on, give it a taste. Thank you. Thank you. So it's got a, a, a very faint aroma, it's not a very deep aroma of coffee. Yeah, so it doesn't smell strong. That's quite a light tasting yeah, coffee, yeah, yeah, a very yeah. light coffee in tasting. Mm. That one would be for your morning to, to wake you up slowly. Mm. That's quite nice. Again. Yeah. So a, a mixture of red apple and apricots with lasting nutty finish. So yes. That one was quite a nice, I wouldn't say a, a very deep coffee, but a mm. nice mild coffee. Yes, mild. A nice slow wake you up coffee. So then we will go on to another one from Mali, which is the One Love. This was bean. Again, we put the same amount of bean in as what we did for ground coffee. This one is, do you want to have a read? No, because a I don't class have glasses. <laughs> a classic medium <laughs> blend full of uh, no notes and blue hints of blueberry, cocoa and spice. Ooh. So again, okay. let's give this a go. This one smells a little bit richer. Again, it doesn't smell like a yeah. strong coffee. It's not so a, a, this is supposed to be a medium. Again, slight hint, slight taste. Not not a powerful coffee. Slightly, slightly more bitter. A, a, a bitter tasting. Best, I always yeah. find bean a bitter tasting than oh, right. yeah. than the ground. And this one ground very easy. You know, uh, we've got a hand grinder, so again, this one you know sometimes it can be quite hard mm. to grind. But that's because these are all fresh as well. Okay. I, I like I do like this one. This is mm. nice, nice mild, mild coffee. So a quick water, just to clean off the palate. The next one is another Marley. The, the reason we're doing three Marleys is because three Marleys were sent to us. Uh, this one is a Buffalo Soldier, an earthy, this is a dark blend, mm -hmm. so this should be a, a, a higher tasting coffee, and it's dark chocolate and berry undertones. Mm, dark chocolate. So, again, this is bean, mm -hmm. and very easy to grind. This time you can have, okay. <laughs> have the Thank normal you. wood. I will go. Okay, all, all three of them are very subtle in the, in the smell and they are not very strong. In, in a sense it's, but when you're brewing yeah. them, yeah. The, the first one brew is what you, you said you like. Oh That's yeah, the first okay, one you I was smell. upstairs, I could smell it. Yeah, so. Mm. 
And this has a, a bittery taste, a, a coffee bittery taste. Hmm. Again, I'm, I wouldn't say it's a, a deep roasted or a coffee, but it's nice and it's nice and mild. I found it coffee. less bittery than that one draft. Because we each of us have a different palate on the other, and yeah. we like different strengths and all that. My favourite out of these three so far has to be the one love. I like the undertone taste of, of the one love. I think I probably prefer this buffalo. <laughs> Every one's a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. So you like the buffalo soldier from mm. the Marlies and I like the one love. Mm. And the misty morning is a mild I, one. I do like misty morning. So I think that will be, because I don't drink very strong coffees, that would be nice one for me, for my cup of coffee once a day, which I have. So one love for me, <coughs> Buffalo Soldier for you. <laughs> so now we're going to be Whew. the stronger coffees. Okay. So the next one is called Big Dicks. The thing about Big Dicks is uh, when you order, you can get a mug. You see the mug here, and you can have it personalised for yourself. So, this one is supposed to be twice the caffeine. So, this oh is their God. Thunderbolt uh, collection uh, with twice the caffeine. So, it's supposed to wake you up. So, you can see how dark this is compared to the others. Thank you. You can have this. As I said, I use the same amount of uh, bean or grind in each mm. one. So. Bottoms up. <laughs> well, no, no, not bottoms up. <laughs> God. This one you can you can smell the coffee. It is darker as well. Yeah, it? it is darker. So let's give it a, a go. Mm. What's the hint of? It's got a hint of some undertone in there. Uh, like biscuit or <laughs> something. <laughs> so just a smooth taste, high in caffeine. Uh, just probably the extra bit of caffeine to give you a kick to wake you up in the morning. God, it has got that. Yeah, like a barrel whiskey. It, kind it's of got taste. an oaky, oh, oaky yeah. uh, taste to it. Mm. We didn't put any whiskey in there, probably. There's no whiskey, it just <laughs> tastes like a, 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 a barrel of a, of a whiskey. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. So, <laughs> this, is, this is nice, I, I like this one. I'm not sure I would be buzzing probably all day after this. <laughs> but it's nice tasting, definitely. Yeah, I don't think this would be the one you drink before you go to bed mm. with the extra caffeine. Mm. But still but nice. again, smooth. Yeah. Who's going to finish all that? <laughs> <laughs> so our last mm. one is from School Crusher. So uh, this is a school crusher coffee. This one is a swear word strong coffee and this one was already come ground. It comes in bean format as well. This one is blender of beans and roasting process. So 350 yeah. milligrams caffeine per cup. Yep, so this Ooh. is gonna be a nice nice buzz. So let's again. You can have a seafood cup. Yeah, thank you. And I will have a seafood mm, cup. You see how much darker this yes, is. That is dark. Much yeah. darker. And it smells like a, a deep espresso mm. smell. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is. Should I be drinking this? <laughs> oh, that is strong. Oh my god, yes. That uh, does exactly what it oh. says on the tin. And a uh, nice kick to that. This is your espresso or your quick get you up in the morning if you've got to go to work. Now we're all heading back to the office quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the one to, to get you there to the office. So, mm. yes, this is again nice. Blows your socks off. Yeah, I, I think this size cup on this Ooh, will, be, mm. will be good. I'm not going to have more because I won't sleep. <laughs> Ooh. Nice tasting again. Nice tasting again. Very strong. It comes with a nice mug. 
and also a lovely spoon. Fancy spoon. <laughs> so, for me, I like the Marley's One Love. Mm. I, I think that would be my everyday drink to mm. drink throughout the day. I think between the Big Dicks and the School Crusher would be that one off coffee when you fancy something a bit with a kick to, yes, to keep you going. Mm. But I think a misty morning as well would be a, a nice to have with a biscuit in front of a telly to watch a good film. <laughs> I did like misty morning and, and Buffalo Soldier. So, yes. Yeah, so, but Marley's come out the best for us mm. for but, the everyday coffee. Yeah. For that special occasion when you want a nice buzz, mm. the two, two there. But there are people who drink really strong coffee. That would be probably ideal for them. Yeah, yeah. As I say, that would be nice. As I say, as a one-off type, to keep mm. you going if you're feeling that bit of a lag, or if you're back from lockdown and have to go into the office. Yeah. So Monday the eighth, when you're going back into work, <laughs> you want yeah. a quick coffee. Don't this would keep you so. on your toes. <laughs> So, thank you for joining me. Mm. Hope you enjoyed it. It's nice. Won't probably sleep, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. next we go on to have a look at the packaging. Uh, so, that will be doing upstairs in the studio. But for now, thank you, Eva. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at the packaging each one came in. The Marley's came in these boxes and each box contained a mug. On the back of each box is actually their mission. We will start off with the Misty Morning. And it says on the back about this coffee is it's perfect for those looking for a rich long lasting cup of coffee with plenty of body to awaken the mind body and soul a mixture of apple apricots and a lasting nutty finish this one was a very mild coffee and an easy to drink coffee i liked it and so did eva so this one i'd put up there as the coffee to drink every day and as you're going through the day. The packaging, again, 100% recyclable and it also tells you about the one tree planted. So go and have a look at that. I've put a link below on uh, the information of it. The next one we tasted was One Love. Again, this is a full uh, coffee. This was a bean. And this one was actually my favorite coffee uh, of what we tasted. For me, it's not a highly strong coffee, but it is full of flavor and full of body. This one I really enjoyed. The next one we tasted was the Buffalo Soldier. This one was Eva's favorite. This had a smoky, smooth taste. Again, it was close between this one and the One Love, but One Love for me, this one for Eva. The next one we tasted was Big Dicks. This one, we both agreed, was really, really nice. It had a oaky barrel taste. Uh, there's nothing on here to, to say what actually it's got in it. All it's got is twice for caffeine. Again, the package is fully recyclable, which is really good. Again, this was mine and Eva's joint favourites in this one. Because of the oaky taste, and it tastes a bit like there's a bit of rum or whiskey within the coffee. Very nice. That's our special occasion coffee. That was really, really nice. 
And last but not least was the Skull Crusher coffee. This one was strong. It tastes, tasted quite like an espresso. This is that one you need to give you a nice kick. Again, again, very, very nice. But there's nothing on here to say if a package is recyclable. But very, very strong coffee. Again, when I got this, I also got the, the mug and the spoon with the big dicks I got again the big dick mug with the writing on it and then each of the Marley's I got the Marley mug with one love on the back so to go over some of the questions I received previously from my other video is what am I going to do with three Marley mugs? I'm keeping one, my father's asked for one and the other one I'm unsure about at the moment on where, where that one will be going. Uh, another question is, somebody wrote, it's nice to hear about the delivery times but which company use the most eco-friendly packaging? That has to be the Marley team uh, because I've done an investigation on the one tree uh, planting but all of their packaging seems to be recyclable. Even the packaging it came in when it was delivered to me was a very green box and no extra packaging, nothing added into there. So the Marley one seemed the most eco-friendly. Uh, the next one is, do I prefer being or ground? I like ground because it, it's easy, but being I always find tastes a lot better. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, next one is, why did I do a top three and not a top five? I didn't want to drink too much coffee, but I ended up drinking five cups anyway. Uh, it's nice to see you helping indie, independent firms. Hope to see more. Again, I'm doing another video on some independent music artists. At this time, it's good to try and help the independent uh, companies and artists where we can. Do I use a V60 or French press? As you may have seen in the video, uh, I was gifted a V60 uh, jug. I'll put a link to that below. We normally use a French press, but the V60 I have, but the V60 seems to give it a better flavour. Uh, what happened with the background? I think this one needs replacing. Before, as I said, I'm in the middle of changing my studio around and I had the green screen on. Somebody sent me this uh, background. I like the look of it, it's very nice, so thank you to them. Uh, somebody's asking you to tell us how to have a smell. Again, I think the favourite smelling one was the Big Dicks because that had an oaky uh, aroma uh, and I liked the Misty Morning because it wasn't a very coffee smell. There seems to be a, a berries or something within there which makes it smell really nice. Um, uh, that seems to be all the questions I had so far. Somebody did uh, message me to say there seems to be uh, something wrong with YouTube. The comments weren't all showing up. Uh, I don't know uh, what's going on there. There seems to be some of the comments were held back for some reason. I had to go and agree for them to come through. Uh, there's nothing uh, in there wrong. But again, if you do want to ask me any questions about it, please use uh, any of the social media there you have my uh, wechat you have my whatsapp number you have my email so if you want to contact me and you don't want to put the questions in the comments i will try and answer them but for now uh, that's it hope you enjoyed the video and please stay tuned like subscribe if you want to see more from me thank you